Yeah, that was some great plays by Ace. This this is probably gonna be one of his uh staple heroes. Ten Seems to be very successful remaining. with it. And let's see how King Gwen decide Five to answer the Pugma remaining. pick. Team secrets turn to pick Drow Ranger. Oh. I mean, it's a good start that you have the Nature's Prophet, as well as the Night Stalker. You don't exactly need five ranged heroes to make it work. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I'm pretty sure that they won't run the Drow in the mid lane this time around. That's just my guess. If they do, then they'll definitely give her a lot more support than mid one did get from the last game, simply because there is a Spear Breaker on the other seat on, on the other team. Easy, like a Huskar come out um, from King One. Well, one of like the best answers for Pugna in general. Um, I guess the other one would be something like an Anti Mage. Uh, Exotic Deer does seem to really like playing on like the super duper hard carries. No, uh, has he been playing the super hard carries? He's played uh, CK, and he's also played Lone, Lone Druid. Druid. Is that not super hard carry? Am I crazy? I mean, it's it's a it's a carry, but it's not like <laughs> I mean, whenever I whenever I think of super hard carry, I'm thinking of you know heroes like a Specter or an Anti Mage or heroes that just really really need to farm a lot throughout the entire game okay fair enough i i i guess when i think of those heroes i always think of just like myself dying to them and yeah that's fair enough tidehunter hey there's a hero we haven't seen in a while oh interesting look at how tall he is yeah he's like dominating his anchors going through pugna like stir the pot, anchor, stir the his pot. Anchor is, uh, his anchor is taller than Pugna, or about the same height. <laughs> and what's funny about that is that's Tide Hunter, like behind Pugna. So the heroes in the middle and front look bigger than the other ones. Oh, Wind Ranger take it. So it's another, another hero that we haven't seen very often, but definitely I can see the synergy here. It's also a potential pickup for the. The Fusel Blade on the Wind Ten Ranger, it actually remaining. does quite a bit of damage. You focus fire, you just drain the crap out of someone's mana as well as dealing a ton remaining. of damage. And if someone gets decrypified, you can actually remove it. Dire team ban. That is possible, but it sounds very greedy, Ten but possible. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess no. But Five seconds remaining. We'll we'll see if they decide on it. Dire team pick. Yeah. You definitely need the levels on Wind Ranger. That's probably to her, her biggest weakness. It's just like, as a support, you're just so useless without the uh, without the levels. And Bane, it's gonna be the last pickup, so it's gonna be a mid mid range uh, a mid wind ranger. No, that's definitely. A, I mean, if we're gonna go that far, let's make it carry Bane and support Drow. Actually, have I have we casted a game where there was where there was a support Drow? I feel like we did. Okay, we have, we have we have one of these. We got one of these last pig brood mothers. <laughs> Isn't that like one of the older sets?
they they don't they don't like on on paper you can power shot it but no no answer <laughs> All right, let's let's not jump to conclusions. I mean, I really don't like to jump to conclusions, but when I, I guess to me it feels like it would need to be some pretty bad misplays by Secret to lose this draft. And on paper, I also feel like they're the stronger team. So when I look at this type of thing, I I, I don't know what else you can really do. Maybe try and like send a bunch of heroes mid right at the start to kill off the brood. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that strategy. Ace is gonna be. Cause... I don't think Ace is gonna start mid. I feel like this is a bait. He's gonna drop a web here, and then they might switch up the lanes. Why do you think that they want to switch up the lanes? Uh, just for the main reasons um, being like Wind Ranger is probably the only one who can actually do anything against a bunch of spiders, and if you match up up against anyone else, it's not really gonna be a good matchup at all but they pull him two tangos so it looks like he will be in the mid lane anyways okay i mean this is this is still perfectly fine because I don't, I don't think wind ranger is going to be able to do much against a, a brood mother yeah i mean we've seen aces micro he controls all of his spiders doesn't let them get picked off and because of that you know he's just going to outfarm the wind ranger or potentially even kill wind ranger yeah well, you can see right down here, bottom King, King Gwen. They want to try and kill down here, bottom. They have a ward set up, and unfortunately, Exotic Deer is going to be alone in this lane now. And well, they actually might be in trouble. They they have Gush Whoa, level one. Gush level one. Oh, Exotic Deer, I think is dead. Uh, can they get her? Trying to <laughs> drop a tree to block it yeah, off, she's but dead. oh, Gush coming up. Yeah. Oh. Jukes jives, ain't gonna happen. Puppy ends up drawing first blood, has to joke in a salve. Can they make up for a bottom? Let me think about this. Got a Bane, we got a Void. Uh, a monster, sorry, Void on the Night Stalker and Nature's Prophet. Trying to wrap around with the trees, trying to block it off. They're looking for this kill. Can they shut down mid one? He is gonna die. So one for one exchange so far. Just enough to... All right, so we got to watch how Nisha deals with this lane. We know it's going to be difficult to deal with, but how difficult? Well, he's doing fine right now. Yeah. Until Ace gets levels, that's that's when it really becomes problematic. So All just, right. uh, you know, kind of ignore this lane. Come back in a level or two or a minute okay. or two. Well, we can oh, go top up top lane. right now, because oh, they no. really do not care. They are trading aggro. Exotic Deer has nowhere left to go. Oh, my God. And Night Suckers there as well. They do oh. end up killing what? off Ace in the mid. Nisha. All right, all right, all right. And meanwhile, okay. bottom lane, mid one ends up killing off Alicia. So Nisha, Alicia, everybody's dying. You should not have listened to me. Why would you take your eyes off the mid lane? I don't know. That's my bad. I'm just, you know, I'm not up to scruff. I mean, I'm just kidding. There's no, there's no way you should expect that. I, I am genuinely curious as to how that just happened. No. Oh. Uh, Hestajo here doesn't have any more, uh, or have any points in Kraken Shell. And Alicia's moving in as well. Do they have enough damage? He needs to hit one more into the Brain Sap. Oh. They're diving. Oh, and realizing you can't do that. Mister. I got bashed by Roshan. <laughs> oh, no. That's really unfortunate. That probably would have been a kill. But no such luck. Uh, to be fair, I think he would have canceled. It's a little risky. He charged the Night Stalker as well. So Night Stalker is pretty tanky. Got six armor as well as 500 life. Probably not something that would have went on anyways. Oh, with levels starting to get up now on Ace as well. You did be careful. Watch out for the power shots, obviously. But it is feel like it's a type of lane where Nisha's always going to have to be wary. Well, it's going to bother Tidehunter. The charge is coming through, but I don't think it's going to amount to much. Yeah. 
Bottom lane, mid one, still having a decent time for himself as well. Went for the decrep on the creep to make sure that it wouldn't get denied. The high level play as they go in now onto Alicia. Aww. He's got a lot of HP, but I don't think it's going to be enough. They take him down with one bash from Puppy. This top lane is destroying Kingwin right now. This Drow just has so much pressure on her. Only has four CS and no items to jungle with. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about support Drow. Little did you know. They're not yeah, even going to get true. the pull off. Uh, they might, actually. The second round here. Exotic Deer trying to get it. Ikor, can they get the pull? They're not going to get the pull. And he ends up TPing, or rather charging over to mid, where they are going to go on to Nisha. I thought they might actually complete that one. Four minute mark. Puppy now going to have to contend with a Night Stalker that's actually in nighttime. As he walks over this direction. Power shot. Taking some spiders with him as well. That was three of them. Pato shows up. Doesn't have enough mana for the sprout, but Puppy's still going to fall. So, this rotation. Things working out a little bit. They've been able to survive the first salvo. He's just doing a great job on this, this Windrunner. Yeah. 30 and 7. Involved in two kills. Yeah, this is uh, definitely the kind of start you need for a, a Windranger. Some of those uh, CS are certainly spiders, but not all of them. I think As... that last power shot was like the first time he killed them, so definitely well, got a little power there. But yeah. Um, they had the charge going on to Bane, and it looks like they might be completing this mid one level five right now, but they are going to call it off. Atos also in the area and doesn't have charge right now. Puppy run into trouble. We'll have it in four seconds away. We'll see if he can make it happen, and there's the charge. Ooh, side power? Steps, the power shot, but yeah, he's gone. Stick charges, not enough. Well, while this is all happening, Yapsor has been able to get boots for himself level 3, and they're starting to cut the creep wave up top, so Drow Ranger is forced to jungle. Yeah, that sounds about right. With the kind of start that Drow has and the lane matchup that she has, jungling sounds about right. Yeah. Nightmare as well laid down. They want to try and set up on a mid one. Silence now oh, does have Soul good. Ring, but... Uh, that guy does not have a lot of HP. Poor little Pugna. Nice sidestep of the spiders. Nisha taking a lot of damage from those ones. Man, it is hard to deal with, and he's going to get wrapped around on fully now. The wind run is there. Can he get out of here in time? The body blocks from the spiders. Oh, all he needs now is this nuke, and he's going to be able to get it. Can he fall? No. Nisha going to live. Very nicely done. Unfortunately for Ace... I don't think he had a... Oh, he did have a web. I'm surprised he didn't web. Uh, getting slapped. Oh, Whoa! Damage. Whoa! That was a lot of spiders taking damage there. He pops the second web now, and... Oh, there's going to be the dust. They back out again. They find the kill, but they do lose a lot of spiders there. Man, Nisha's been playing f fabulously. Yeah, this is definitely a strong performance from the Wind Ranger, but... He's going to have to keep it up. Right now, his team definitely relying a lot on him to have a good and game because Drow Ranger having a terrible one. Yeah, this is second lowest net worth in the game right now, Exotic Deer. 1,100, just barely above the Bane. That, this is a problem. Oh, another nightmare. They do have the Shackle set up here if he wants to go for it. He misses the Shackle. All right, well... Caster's curse for having a good performance. That one, that one hurt. I would have liked to get that one back. I think he got, he got a little Ooh. greedy. Oh, almost snipes him though. He is gonna have another round of this. Oh uh, no, they're not gonna get it. Oh, TP. Oh, they might have found him. Shackles down, but look at Zeus. They turn it back around, and now Spider is on top of Pathos. They're trying to kill him off. They've got a lot of damage here. This Nature's Prophet, nowhere left to run. They do have the damage. Power shots through, but they get the double kill. Now looking for more. Can they kill off Alicia? The Spiderling Ami oh, took down the Mama, but Retribution is very darn to deal with. Ace has gotten a triple kill, and he's been dead. <laughs> These spiders have been doing so much work. 
Okay. Well, three kills from the grave, basically. Good stuff. And Ace showing why this hero is hard to deal with. So I guess the long run answer for this is going to be Exotic Deer Aghanim's Maelstorm. Is that is that what they're going to have to use? It's going to be a while. I think the uh, the AOE clear from Windrunner is not that great. Uh, simply because yeah. her base attack speed kind of sucks. And a lot of the items you build are just pure damage. You never really have attack speed. And yeah. because of that, you just rely on Focus Fire to single out people instead. So... If there's going to be an AOE clear build, it's going to have to come from Nature's Prophet as well as the uh, the Drow Ranger. Drow Ranger might need to go for the Maelstrom Agnum Scepter build. Yeah. That's, like I said, though, that's going to be a long ways away. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Uh, good dodging of the power shots here. And down bottom, there's a charge coming in. Alicia has nowhere left to go and, well... One gush, maybe, with the puppy there. They do get the nightmare off. That was well done, but why not a first hit bash? And why not just an ulti coming in? Not to mention the fact that Yapsor kills exotic deer in the jungle. They didn't even know that what? she was there. They didn't even know. Yeah, that <laughs> okay, Just a that casual one, kill. That one hurts so much. Oh, man. All right, that'll teach you. Alright, oh, I can't get in trouble for T tours in that. <laughs> yeah, you you can possibly have your your camera on that one. Um, well, it's gonna be a charge again onto Alicia. Just went down. Now maybe gonna end up falling again. They end up going for the nice little nether blast and looking for more here as well. Alicia's staying alive for a moment. Life drain, it's not gonna be enough. Atos. And they do this. Puppy has another charge now if he wanted to go for it. And is going to charge through, but he's just going to need to run away now. Teleportation is there. Power shot. Shot as well. Is he going to die? He is. Very well done. Nisha hits it. Now the Ooh, shackle on to Pugna. Well. He's down. Kill taken there by the Bane. Why not? They will lose the tower for the trouble. And now Drow Ranger is going to be found out inside of her own jungle area. So... Ace continuing to take over the uh, enemy jungle. But the problem of this Drow Ranger still lies for Kingwin. He is just farming so slowly. He at least yeah. he did manage to get to level six. That helps a lot. Gives you a lot of damage. I feel like this is one of those games where you should probably invest in Iron Talon. I don't yeah. actually know how effective it ends up being, but. And he definitely needs something to propel his farm. Mask of Madness would be great, but he just has no farm. Yeah. No, it's really tough. And honestly, a stray Zeus ulti. And uh, that could potentially be curtains as well. Honestly, if she's not careful, like farming over here as they charge the, the Nature's Prophet, they're going to be going for the Nature's Prophet kill. Yeah, she's going to head back home, it looks like. As... Oh, they thought about going for that one. Yeah, Nisha there as well. Shackle going to connect again. Mid one. Drops. Oh, great setup. And yeah. get more potentially. Charge is ready. Can he make it out? Oh, no. void. Nice it's caught him. And now they're going to be able to find that kill as well. Mega kill streak for Nisha. Level 11. So has that mana regen talent that is so freaking good. While mid, the spider continues the push. Tidehunter pushing up top. I think you accept those. Secret are just pretty much playing very greedily right now, and it's still kind of working. Everyone's getting farmed, you know, they're getting picked off every now and then. And oh, losing some this is a big one. They shackle up the brood, and with that silence out, they're going to kill them. And now these spiders also going to be harvested. That is a pretty substantial turnaround. And that was also the Broodmother taken out. She got the Relic, at least. But a lot of gold. A lot of experience. That could put Drow to level 8. Yeah, definitely. The, these kills are important. I've been killing... <clears throat> what the hell, man? Nisha! Settle down! Jeez! Well, it's making everything Bane happen. Setting him up. Bane yeah. helps set up, but Nisha is... 
very farmed right now. He's pretty much carrying the team. Drow Ranger is doing whatever he can to catch up. But, you know, despite and all of these kills and all these pickoffs, you know, Secret are still leading in farm because they are playing very greedily. So, yeah. gonna have to see how Kingwin are able to take advantage of their greed. They do spot the Brood right now and wanting to try and take her out, but it's so hard to find that initiation. And, well, there's gonna be the ulti coming in from Yapsor. They see it, gonna TP away before they're able to catch. And in the meantime, try and push these other lanes, I would imagine. I'm not really seeing where the rest of Secret is. Like, you just had to TP back home, Yapsor. Farming. Oh, Hesjo gonna get cancelled. Oh. They'll still hold the tower, though, it looks like. You know, in the lead-up to this, they were asking why it was taking so long. And one thing that ended up getting revealed was that uh, Kingwin actually... Um, Niche is a high schooler, and so they had to wait for these games to get played until a little bit later in the day, and they helped to reschedule the qualifier format so that that way um, they could make sure that this, the mid player could be here. So young talent uh, in Nisha playing on this Wind Ranger, and it's cool to see them play on it. Another charge coming out on Night Stalker. Not going to do anything with that. Tidehunter almost has Blink. Maybe they're waiting for the Blink Dagger to take a big team fight. Yeah, and the Radiance probably as well. It's only about, what, 300 gold away from the Brew? Brood? That's a pretty big pickup as well. That'd be a lot of damage right now. Oh, they got one. That is a problem for the Night Stalker. He does have Hunter in the Night as well. No level 6 on Puppy, though. At 15 minutes in, that is a problem. Man, this don't ever stop. Oh, but Alicia, that's real bad. Oh, man. Yep, so he gets the kill steal there with the Zeus, doing his best pub impression. Now Nisha gonna get charged and well, maybe ran at as well. They've got a good bit of damage here. I think this is worth it to ravage for it, and they're gonna try and chase her down, see if they can find that kill. Radiance is burning as well. Nisha in trouble. And eventually, I believe, going to fall, trying to TP out, charge! Is it gonna be there? They get her! Oh, that was close. That is a pretty big kill for Puppy. 553 gold going his way. Almost level 6 off of it as well. Definitely gonna be a huge help if he manages to get his level 6. And Tidehunter has the Blink Dagger finish. I wonder if this is the time for Secret to smoke out. They got the Radiant Courier. Alicia just gonna get bashed one time, why not? Couple body blocks in there as well. Now Yapsor shows up. They decide to think about turning to the west, but they need to just get out, actually, because they lost themselves. Er, Pugna. Mid one hasn't been having the greatest game here. Maybe it's yeah. a hero thing. I don't really picture him as a as a Pugna player. I mean, I'm sure he can play everything, but I'm sure he excels at some of the more traditional mid carry type of heroes or carrying just in general. Yeah. Uh, practicing the shackling. Hey, it all counts. Slow down the uh, catapult structure damage. Oh, hey. There you go. Is that the new strat? Well, it always helps. They do see that there was a smoke there. Alicia just going in for this one, probably to get down a ward and then maybe try and set up a kill. They might be expecting this now. Mid one's going to back out. So, too, will Puppy. And they still haven't really gone for any big move. They're just, you know, like you said, comfortable farming up and waiting to get into these items that are going to well, help them dominate this game. Radiant are scanning. Bane doing the hiding in trees tactic. This is how you play Bane. You just wait for your opportunity to strike. No. He can eat his pizza now. <laughs> he can eat his pizza. For anybody that missed, that was the reason that we had a delay in one of our games. Get to eat some pizza. Vision-wise, they will see the Pugna now here, but it's hard to think about going on that one. And in fact, Bane is going to TP to the bottom lane, and that should stop it there, I would imagine. Oh. 
As, as this game sort of stalls out here and doesn't really uh, turn into, like, you know, actual fights and it just remains as is, who do you feel like is coming out on top? Uh, I think Kingwin are very happy that they aren't getting, like, pressured to death right now. Being able to farm against a team like this is very good for your own. And I think with the right-click potential that they have with the Drow lineup, I think Kingwin are going to be okay when it comes to mid-game. All right. Drow is catching up as well. I mean, it'd be hard not to based upon where she started. But, uh... Just slightly below mid one now. The game feeling like it's much more about uh, farming up and stuff, which like I said allows her to kind of get a little bit of free room for herself. Uh, it's also kind of interesting. Like we haven't had a ravage yet this game. Well, that is a very good point. I do not recall seeing a ravage. Oh no, Yapsor. Uh, yeah, 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 there's the Fiend's Grip down low. They're going to end up hitting the power shot Nisha right on the edge of it. Makes that work, and the Shackle not going to latch, but they have the Nightmare, and now he's in trouble. They do drop down the Nether Ward, as well as the Decrep. Life Drain keeping him alive there. And oh, now they show up. Traded. There's the Ravage. They've got the damage with the Radiance. Oh, and it all falls apart so quickly. Decrep there as well. Goes for the Nightmare. No way to save. Double for mid one. Right, as you talk about the Ravage, they hit a huge Ravage. On, right on top of three of the heroes, so... No chance for King Gwyn to turn that fight around at that point. Make it a three for zero. About 800 gold net worth swing. Oh no. Oh, and... Yapsor. Yapsor. Yeah, just stealing kills left and right. Really what a guy. I mean, to be fair, that's sort of what you want to do is this position four, right? You're not getting farmer on the map, so get the kills. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they discussed this as well. He doesn't, he doesn't do it like without saying anything. He'll be able, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll usually tell you like I'm gonna KS. You. Whoa, that was a loud sound. They do take down the tower though, and that takes away the vision. And now Nisha going to get charged in. They find the not quite gust and. Oh my god, Alicia's going down. This is where things really get scary. You gotta be careful here, buddies. Puppy getting caught for the moment, but they also are starting to drop, and they're able to jump away from that one. So, Night Stalker not able to finish it off. We'll have Ravage back up shortly, but also Guardian Greaves is there, and Night Stalker not really capable of making anything happen. Just wants to head out, keep his eyes on the Radiant. Well, Nisha. Oh, they turned off the Radiance. Now he turns it back on and yeah, Nisha's gonna end up going down here, I believe. They do have spawn spiderlings as well. If they can get within range, damage, not quite there. They wanna set up on a mid one though. Do they get found out? Daytime, two minutes away like Patos and Acor should be able to back out. Anything? Uh, <clears throat> any interesting items coming up? Not really seeing much. They had Guardian Grease already. I think it's just run at Alicia time. Although... Blue Mother has a lot of gold. Saved up 4,000 gold. Uh, Almost. Uh, there was the shrine. A little unfortunate there. Um, yeah, what do you think she ends up going for? Is it just like a BKB? Uh, I think so. I think that's probably the best option. I got Brood Radiance Illusions. What is Ace going to buy with 4,500 gold? <laughs> I mean, Deso maybe? Could go finish his Solar Crest, possibly. Um, Orchid is always great also. Hmm. 
I mean, what do they need to kill people? I, I guess armor wouldn't be bad either. Going for an ultimate to, orb. What they need to do to kill people is just to actually go there and find them. <laughs> okay. They just need to bring out a smoke, make use of Ravage, and I'm sure they'll be able to win these engagements, especially because Look at this. Their, their team fight is just so strong. Yeah. That being said, Kinglin did a significant amount of damage to this tier 3 tower. It's below half HP. I think it's mostly because of uh, a lot of split pushing, a lot of yeah. constant shoving out of the lanes. Yeah. Brood ends up going for the Lincoln Sphere, and only a little bit of experience away from fitting, picking up that 70 attack speed talent. So freaking good. Again, split push happening, and this one will take the tower. So they either need to push for their own as they jump forward and find themselves a Pugna. Secret kind of falling apart here, and while this is happening, they're going to end up losing barracks possibly in the bottom lane. Nobody is here to deal with this. They're TPing back right now, and with Tidehunter in the area... Not enough mana for Ravage, and also getting his blink broken. Yeah, that's a problem. Broodmother, where are you going? They still have Aegis. He is finish oh, he finished Lincoln. Okay, I like yeah. Lincoln's pickup. Shackle Shot is actually so annoying to deal with, and Spain is potentially able to catch him as well. So, I think this is the right choice. Okay. Well, Zeus in the meantime has the Yule Scepter going now for the Aghanims. He hasn't gotten probably as much farm as he would have wanted since there hasn't been that much fighting this game. 18, 16 at 25 minutes. Nisha out of mana but does have haste rune bottled up. Oh, in the jungle. Brood almost kills off the drow. Exotic Deer just TPs away. And here comes the smoke. Dyer don't see this. Bane is close. Oh, Nisha's hanging out by the shrine. They have no shrine now. They spot out Nisha, turning around onto this. Alicia's gonna get bashed as they go through, and well, that will probably keep alive the Wind Ranger is. Another shackle goes and hey, guess what? If you shackle the target behind it, or in front of her, she still gets shackled. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, I'm doing their best to hold this, but oh man. Oh that my god. Ravage. Three person Ravage. They're going to catch Gaycore as well. They immediately get back out after the Wind Ranger buys back. And look at them. As a team secret run away, they know what could happen. Another great shackle. They find her right there. But can they reach her? It's a problem. No. Doesn't matter, uh, they can't get her. But Fiend Script from the low ground. Bane going to get punished for that one quite heavily. A jump through as well. They've been able to catch onto the Drow, even though the Spirit Breaker died as he was finishing his charges. And Nisha now in trouble also. BKB wearing low. They have the damage that they need. Nisha going to die. Aced on a dominating streak. Turns onto this one fortunate Night Soccer. He's going to fall down. Also, Exotic Deer getting ran at. Ace is just too big. They don't even care, and he also has Aegis, so even if he didn't just kill everybody, it wouldn't have mattered. Tier 3 tower most likely to go down now, unless they want to back out, since there was total four buybacks now? That is just too many, too many buybacks. Uh, uh, two. Well, this fight recap just says two, so we're going to assume it's just two. Unfortunately for Ace, the rest of his team is just way too low. They can't take any more. Almost finishing MKB though, that is very scary for the Wind Ranger. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant that the Wind Ranger had it. If Ace gets it, that's that's curtains. And well it might be for exotic deer anyways. Radiance burn, gonna be on her in a second, and drops down a web. It's gonna well be up on the high ground trying to get out of there. Exotic deer, is he gonna get out? Uh no. No. Four staff jump through. They oh, found themselves a pain. It is all falling apart. There, there is nothing left. Shackle connects onto that spear breaker, but he is fine. Meanwhile, Patos. They don't have Ravage, but he's still just scared off again. And they have found Gekor, and with mid one here, this might be the death of him. 
damage connects as Puppy ends it, and this is looking like it might just be close to the end of the game. This is really hard to deal with. I guess Aegis is going to expire really soon, and mid one is actually going to get caught here. So mid one goes down. Oh, this is rough. I don't know. They're just walking down mid anyways. He just runs out, kind of like. Yeah. They have Ravage available again if they want to use it. And the tower is going to go down. Well, it's the start of the siege. Get to work on the shrines. Get some money and then regroup up before they make that push. Maybe even wait for Roshan. Secret don't really yeah. have to rush anything. Is there any worry as the game goes on that like they start to fall off at all or the, the damage from Drow will maybe eventually be there? I mean she doesn't even actually have a PKB. I think I think she'll eventually be there to have the damage, but she won't you can never itemize in a way to just beat five people on your own. Not this game at least. No. I think uh Spirit Breaker alone is more than enough to lock you down, so it's really rough. This is a a bold move here. I don't know how well that's going to work out. Uh, they have Ravage still. Ooh, you don't want to do this, guys. You you really don't. Oh, Hesta Joe. Oh, no. They're, they're trying to take him down. Acor got the pipe. They're still looking to chase this. They got a four staff available if they wanted to pop it. But it's just going to be Nisha caught. Oh, I heard the sound start. It wanted to finish, but it's not there. Out for 70 seconds. Wind Ranger. This this is the time when they go up. Yeah, I definitely agree. This is this is your moment. Your biggest problem is now dead for 50, 50 something seconds. You should definitely go take something. Even if it is even if it isn't high ground, at least take the middle tower and then maybe make your way to Roshan. Ace has the plus eight webs talent too, so he can just throw them everywhere. Oh, he hit 25. Yeah, the eight. The eight webs is great. Four always feels so lackluster, but eight is like the perfect number. Yeah. All right, tower fallen. And you do have a Nature's Prophet split pushing, but they have a creep wave here that should be more than sufficient. Not to mention mid is going to be pushing in, so I don't really know where you go from here if you are dire team. Well, all of Dyer are just sitting in their base right now. They're just slowly getting out farmed. 17k net worth lead now. I think about 10 minutes ago it was about 9k, so slowly but surely, they're doing it. And it looks like Secret will back out for a moment, but still not easy. So do you think that Broodmother is going to keep being a hero that we see? Um... Some heroes like playing it, or not some heroes, some players like playing it. Yeah. And it's kind of gaining popularity, so I think we'll definitely see it again. I wonder if it's going to get nerfed because of that. Like, Valve said that they're still going to be working on the balance patch, so maybe that means that they'll, like, look at what's good right now, and if they see Brood being good right now, they'll end up trying to nerf it a little bit. Um... I don't know. It's like so. It's so hard to make that that, that call because the patch has been going on for such a long time, and Broodmother hasn't been touching for a long time as well. Oh, they find Sonic yeah. here. All right, good silence, but it was all for naught. Not good enough. Unless you start that spirit. Unless you stop that spirit breaker. Not enough. Big old stack of creeps coming down bottom, and they don't have an ember or anything like that to deal with it this time. But they will Nightmare. Zeus is going to head back and try and clear through this creep wave. Does a good job of it. Meanwhile, inside the base, has Sejo still being the one who's going to siege this here. So they do take the tower. But that should be about all. Melee Rack's about to go down so close. Uh, Yapsor is actually pretty close to being able to get his Agonims also. So, he'll be able to be effective from even the other side of the map as they throw down the decrep on the nether ward. 
draining mana and causing damage whenever they do use it. The barracks about to fall. Esajo playing it safe right now. As Broodmother is going to go up to the top lane. Start taking that one down. Tidehunter left alone. They want to go in here, but the spiders are going to be able to take down the tier 3 tower. And it is so hard because they need absolutely everybody to contest even one of these lanes. Catapult doesn't get the last hit. Windranger does. And a full lane of barracks down without even taking a fight. Uh, this is like the worst feeling or worst position to be in. And now they're going to have the Rosh. I think this is Kingwood's best chance. Just try to win at Roshan. Because they don't even have like a big team fight type of thing to come back from. Or come back with. I mean, could it, couldn't it just be like split pushing with Patos? It, see, this is this is why they instantly pick Zeus as well as Spirit Breaker. It's because they see that first pick Nature's Prophet, and then it's just so look look he's already on this, on the case. Yeah. And maybe Wind Ranger right now is trying to like get in position, but yeah, the there's the ulti and Patos is gonna die. Wind Ranger shows up, doesn't hit the shackle. Win one already used Decrep, so he's gonna die. There's a lot of damage from the Wind Ranger. Has that Ags upgrade already as well as the. Drow Ranger damage, but Aegis is online. Yeah, nope. Alright. Getting shackled as well. Oh. <laughs> it went through the Wildkins and that lowered the damage, but he's still oh. going to die there. In the meantime, Ace takes down another. Now he's going to start focusing down these towers. Shackle, not going to latch. That was a great prediction from the. Night Stalker realizing he's probably gonna head to try and put that damage. Yeah, they need to be careful. That is a problem. And the BKB is there as well. So, nine second BKB. Misha, if he does end up catching at least one, it could be a pretty easy kill. Absor, though, has that lightning bolt mini stun. Nisha outside of the base, forced to pop the BKB. Gonna catch oh. on the Absor now. That's not bad at all, but starting to fall. And they get the kill. Doesn't look like it. They do have the ultimate after the fact. The catch is there. Yapsor looking to kill off Nisha. And doesn't have Nimbus or ulti. Not quite in time. He is so close to uh, dying there. But he makes it out. That's a Joe. Needs to be careful though. He does have the cheese. So. And it's Guardian Graves also. They end up oh. taking him down though. Patos takes down Patos. Excuse me, mid one takes down Patos, oh, and now that damage. there's the ulti. Ace is the one that gets the last hit. Nature's Prophet buys back, immediately going to be gusted away. But this is the last semblance of a defense, and it's not that great of one, to be honest. They call GG. Oh, look at this combo. This combo is so great. The Decrepify into Lightning Bolt from the, uh, from the yeah. Nimbus just does so much damage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us here today. We casted 